Uh huh. Just go, go to what? Rock and baby. So welcome to Yoga for Wellness. Um, so we're going to start today in a relaxing position. Um, and this recording will be available on a YouTube link. So you, you just press on the link, I send them out. Um, so if you're on it and watching, you're probably already on it. So glad you found it. And so finding that either comfortable seat or restorative pose, just adjust yourself to where you're completely and totally comfortable. And then just resist any temptation to move. Start to sense in, just bring your awareness on your breath. Just noticing that inhale and exhale through the nose. And bring any special awareness on any kind of tightness or tension you may have in the neck or the shoulders. And then just follow, welcome. You can get any of those spots here, welcome. And then just follow your own natural inhale and exhale. And I have folks on virtually as well. That's what we've been teaching. So I'm just so you know, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm talking to the computer as well. So you guys can just take a moment to get settled in any restorative pose you'd like, or you can um, it be in a seated meditation with your back up against the wall. And if you find, if you're seated and you sort of gently press the head against the wall, just sort of feeling the length of the spine. And then on your next inhale, to start to breathe in for a count of four. Three, two, one. Hold the breath in for four. Three, two, one. Exhaling for four. Three, two, one. And hold the breath for four. Three, two, one. So continuing that cycle. Inhaling for four. Three, two, one, hold the breath in, three, two, one, exhale for four, three, two, one, hold the breath, three, two, one, and just continue that cycle in your own rhythm, your own breath, holding for four, Breathing in for four, holding for four, exhaling for four, and holding for four. Child's 
it with our child's pose. Our knees can be together or our knees can be apart. And we're gonna start to just start to sink our hips down towards our knees. So imagine I'm just coming around, squishing you, sort of gently releasing the tailbone back towards the hips. And with our arms, they can either come back behind our feet or all the way out in front of us. Just start to breathe into that back body. So expanding those side ribs. And then let's all bring our hands forward. So we can really reach through the fingertips. So almost find those little spider fingers. Feeling a stretch all the way through the armpits. And then pressing into our hands, slowly start to come all the way on to all fours. Big inhale, building our inner thighs, moving back, our heart forward, our knees back behind our hips. And then as we exhale, we're gonna tuck our tailbone down, round the spine, and start to curl back again. So going back into the child's pose and then lifting all the way back into that cat. So nice big inhale, leading with the heart, spreading the hands out, inner thighs back, exhaling round, tucking the tailbone down, rounding the spine, sinking all, all the way back. Let your breath guide the movement. So almost really making this a moving meditation. So we're going to spe pay special attention today to some therapeutics, really adjusting the poses to what fits best for your body. And then bring it all the way back to those all fours. And let's make some fists like this, if you guys can see me here. So our palms are facing up, our arms are straight, and our knuckles are actually touching. So we can bring our hands together like this on the mat, great. So palms, um, the, the fingertips are gonna face, beautiful, beautiful. So from here alone, you may feel a little stretch. You guys feel that? So press into the backs of the hands, and then lift up, feel that strength. Nice big inhale. Exhale, take the elbows out just a little bit and dip down. So be mindful of the wrist, inhale up. So getting a nice little wrist stretch, exhaling down. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. All right, inhale all the way up. Go ahead and release those hands and now turn the fingertips around. So you're actually having, um, so if you, I don't know if you can see me there on the screen, so, but you're actually sort of like this on the mat. So everybody's wrists are gonna be different, right? So you just may have a little minor rotation, but maybe turn it all the way around, do what feels good to you, and then start to lean back just a little bit. You'll find that sweet spot, hopefully. Nice full breath. Right, release the hands all the way back. Come all the way back on our toes. And just roll out those wrists. Both directions. Nice release our hands. Turn those toes under. Toe stretch. So if this hurts, if this is too much, right, all the way back, you can just you can just have a little bit of your way down. Nice, now make this a seated meditation, right? With the discomfort of our toes. So nice, full breath. At any time, if there's their pain, right? We'll just wanna lift back up or just have the flat toes. Right, release those toes. Like that's enough, right? Go <laughs> release those toes all the way down. Great, nice big inhale, bring our shoulders all the way up to the ears, and then exhaling out through the mouth, inhaling up, nice, and exhaling, nice one, 
much time in. toes are just flat now so okay let's go ahead and turn those toes under spread our hands out knees back behind the hip and then start to lift those knees just a little bit so like we're trying to like like a hover and so we're going to do what they call a crouching tiger before we go into down dog so so our so we're in a position like down dog so spread your hands just a little bit out really press into that thumb and that first finger and then bring your awareness on your inner thigh so you're lifting back but you almost like feel this crouching forward like you can leap so just go back and forth a few times keeping our neck long and then when you're ready go all the way back into down dog great so bend the knees just a little bit sort of feel those inner thighs Reaching back, spine's long, let the head hang, let the neck hang. Nice full breath. Okay, it's pressing into our right foot. Inhale that left leg back. If you can, touch the wall behind you. So press that foot into the wall and feel. So you're going to feel the difference, right? So feel the muscles all the way from the foot through the hands. And then bring it all the way up towards our hands and let's step it all the way through. Nice, take that back foot down, back knee is down and guide it all the way up. I think we made a mistake by turning that heat on. I hope it's gonna oh, kick it's off. I know. Are you guys okay? Sorry. All the right, fine. <laughs> We may need to, we may have some hot yoga. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that back toe under. And then start to just guide that knee down the second and third toe. And then feel a lifting up, almost like your hip bones are coming in and your belly is lifting up. Nice, take our hand on the hip and then bring that opposite arm over her. So you're really rooting down from that right knee all the way through the pinky. Go and let that head come down and just cuff the neck, like giving it a little bit of support, almost like you're curling back. Full breath. Great, release the hand, release them both all the way down. Great, and bring that front leg back. And just take that minute to check in. Maybe down dog, maybe child's pose, maybe cat cow. And I'll check on the heat, see what I can do. Oh Right, wherever you're at, come all the way back. Nice, and let's find that child's pose again. Sinking those hips, bring the arms heavy, and one vertebrae at a time, start to curl up, curl up, curl up, curl up. Nice big inhale, bringing those shoulders all the way up towards the ears, and then exhaling back. So all the way up on our knees. Let's bring our shoulders all the way up now. Interlace our fingers behind and take our arms all the way over towards the right. Let our left ear come towards our left shoulder. For you, it'd be your right shoulder, my left. Just breathing into the side of the neck. And maybe bring the chin a little bit up and down. Let's release the hands. I shake it out and then find that opposite interlacing of the hands and take it to the opposite side. Let the shoulder come towards the ears. Right, and then just move our chin slightly up and down. Nice. 
Just release it all the way back. Pressing into our hands, lifting the knees, lifting the hips, really reach back again. Take that opposite leg back. Press that foot up against the wall, one-legged down dog. Pressing into the wall, really reach through the hands. Nice big inhale, exhale to get all the way through. Nice low lunge. Nice back toe turned under. And just start to guide that knee down that second and third toe. Right, back knees down, lifting the belly, lifting the heart. Look great. Great, taking our hand on the hip and then reaching that arm all the way over. So from the knee all the way through the pinky. Maybe that hand curls back. Full breath all the way through the side body. the hands back toe turned under and just go ahead and hop it all the way up towards standing right belly is on the thighs uttanasana soften the knees and just shake the head yes shake the head no just sort of feel that rag doll great now sink the hips and then reach the arms back like a diver so from our hips to our head is one straight line. Right now, keep the hips sinking. Nice big inhale, float the upper body up, chair pose. So from our feet, check in. See what feels better to your body. Maybe it feels better to lift the heels just a little bit. Check it out. Maybe it feels better to ground the heels and lift the toes. Or maybe it feels better to root down through all four. So it all depends on our curvature of the spine. Rooting down, nice big inhale, float it all the way up. Nice big gentle back bend, curling all the way back. And then exhale, hands at heart center. Just notice your heartbeat. Notice your breath. I'm just taking that moment to really Set your intention for class today. Nice big inhale. Let's bring our arms up. So slow, slow. Exhale. Hands all the way through heart center. Relax the head. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale again. Belly on the thighs. Soften the knees. Hands on the mat. Just bring that right leg back and left leg back. So nice long plank. So our knees can be up or down. Strong belly, slowly lower down. Releasing our toes. Let's fill our fingertips to the side, elbows up. So like a little spider fingers again. Nice, and a nice big inhale, curling back. Nice, and exhale down. Turning the toes under, hands to the side, and then take it all the way up, pushing all the way back to our down dog. Full breath. Really rooting through our thumb and first finger. That inner thigh is moving back in long arms. Now on this one, we're just gonna gently start to walk those hands all the way this time towards our feet. Relax the head again. Root down through the feet, sink the hips, reach our arms back like a diver. Nice big inhale, floating the arms up, Uttanasana, chair pose. So sinking those hips. So maybe it feels better with our arms and heart center, maybe in cactus arms. So it's just sort of check in. Maybe lift our heels, maybe lift our toes. So make it your chair, your cozy chair, right? Great, thinking that's one last deep breath. Like you're pulling the mat apart with those legs. Nice big inhale, float it up. Reaching back, gentle back bend. And exhaling, hands at heart center. Oh, I feel 
feel that cool air down. <laughs> that would feel good. Find your breath. Is that better? <laughs> Find your heartbeat. Nice. Let's go ahead and root down through our right foot. And find a drift to your gaze. And with this, our knees just a little bit soft. All right, nice big inhale, bringing our left leg up, left hand. Nice, and then exhaling down. And maybe our foot just hovers, or maybe it comes all the way down. So our key here is we're coordinating our breath with our movement. Inhaling up. We're going to add here, exhaling, twisting as we come down. Ooh. Inhaling up. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> exhaling the other side as we bring it down a little more challenging. Ah. Exhaling down. Well, this time, inhaling up, exhale to the other side. Inhaling up, and this time, hold. Woo Full breath. Maybe extend the leg. Twist the ankle. Great, and then exhale. We'll take it all down. Nice and slow. Woo! Just twirl out those ankles. adds an extra little element of a uh, challenge there. And then find your roots again. All right, that's just such a big thing with our, our balancing poses. Um, so you may be on a wall or like Janus, you may be off your mat. Like sometimes, like this is a little tough because I've got two, like I've got the squishy mats, but. So rooting down through our left foot to really feel all those four corners and activate the arches. This is so great for our arches. We're in shoes so much so our arches don't have to work like they should. And then just feeling that toe come up and on our inhale, just floating our arms up, floating our knee up. Exhaling down. See if you can make the inhale last all the way up until our hands are all the way up. Pause, hold, exhaling down. Making the exhale last until our toe reaches up. And on our next one, we're going to add that twist. So inhaling up. Exhaling, twisting as we lower down. And pulling up. So we're moving our focus, exhaling to the other side. Grab that wall or that neighbor. You know, just take him down with you. turn our foot to where we're stretching through the top of our foot. So we're just having the bottom of our foot nice. Really nice. And relax. Switch to the other side. Just stretching through the top of the foot. Nice. Then releasing and let's strip it all the way out nice and wide and with with y'all let's see what the best thing would be to do um, yeah maybe turn you can turn um let's all maybe turn can you still see me Jane? well you can follow us yeah we'll all turn that door beautiful thank you let's bring our feet as wide as our hips and um, if you're online, just make sure your feet are still on your mat. So if you need to move your mat, please do so. That way you don't have any slipping or sliding. So go ahead and 
with your back leg, so the one towards the wall. So go ahead and turn that toe in just a little bit. So it's like aligning the wall ball. And the other option you can do is you can actually press that back leg up against the wall, and that feels really good too. So like you would be perfect, yeah, just like that. So you're actually pressing. I'll show you here. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do the same thing. So you're pressing that back foot. So you have that natural grounding, right? That you can press against. And then bring that front foot right in line with the arch of the other foot. And then from a straight leg, we're gonna start to drop that knee down over the second and third toe. So we're not just moving our knee, right? We wanna move from our hip. Does that make sense? So we're moving from our hip, dropping it down over our second and third toe. And then just wiggle out that foot, making sure you can see your toes. So you have that really wide stance. So we're actually moving into Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. So our, we're straight ahead, but we're gonna allow that back hip to sort of round in a little bit. Nice, but our waist is still this way. So it's like our hips going forward. You feel that, you feel the hip forward, yeah. but then turn your waist back. So turn your waist, there you go, but keep the hip forward. Beautiful. Float the arms, palms facing up. Oh yeah, and we have a wall. We can press and back. This sort of feels good. So press into the wall if it's there. Feel the activation of the muscles in the arms. Right. Nice big inhale. Float that front arm up, reaching the back arm back. Let's go ahead and turn, bend the elbow, and support the neck. Maybe give yourself a nice little massage. Nice. Straightening the legs, straightening the arms, spread it all the way out. Great. And then have that little micro bend in the knee. So sort of turning the kneecap up, fill all that space, moving into triangle pose. So really reaching out, bringing our hand to our shin, or maybe if we have a block here, or to the floor. Great, again, we're gonna allow that back hip to sort of curl forward. Let's all bring our hand on our hip. So one of the biggest things we see with triangle pose is sometimes we over arch our, it can be really hard on our shoulders. So from here, bring your arm forward and then bring it back into the socket. Nice, and then let it float up, but it's actually slightly above <laughs> Stay there. Oh down really reach press into that back wall all the way through the hand you feel that stretch nice windmill it all the way back around bend the knee back into warrior two full breath just pause for a second hold just notice your breath notice your heartbeat Nice, and then windmill that hand all the way around. Nice, turn that back toe around. Nice, wide straddle. And then just sort of go ahead and just drop that front leg back. Just breathing over the hamstring. Really feeling that hip reaching back, relaxing the head, relaxing the neck. Soften that knee, bringing that back foot forward. Relax the head, relax the neck, and then nice and slow, just to roll it up, keeping the knees soft. Bringing those shoulders all the way up towards the ears. Nice 
a big inhale, bringing our arms up. Exhaling all the way through heart center. Soften our knees, belly on our thighs. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale again, belly on the thighs. Soften our knees, hands on the mat. Let's bring that left leg back. And bring the right leg back. So in plank, or modified plank. So knees up or down. Really start to sort of feel that tailbone lifting up just a little bit. Strong arms and slowly start to come down. Great, releasing the toes, bring those fingertips out, elbows up. Great, and then lead like somebody's picking you up from the back of your head. So you're keeping your neck nice and long, nice big inhale as we curl up. Time we're gonna turn our head over to the left and dip our shoulder. Inhaling up. Curling, dipping our shoulder, turning our head to the right. Inhaling up, curl all the way up. And then exhaling down. Nice. Reach our hands all the way out. So we're reaching our arms out long, our neck is long. And then lift our right arm and our left leg. Lifting our head as well, but keeping our neck nice and long. Exhaling down, opposite left arm and right leg. Keeping our neck nice and long. So just back and forth with your breath, just moving. So feel like you're moving um, from the toe, aligned all the way with the hip. So keeping our back nice and long, so no crunching in the back. And then release it all the way down. Relax the hips. Just give them a little shimmy shake. Our hands to the side. And then take a moment to check in. Maybe down dog. Maybe child's pose or cat cat pose. Wherever you're at. And then we'll all make our way to a down dog and gently just walk the feet towards the hands or the hands towards the feet, whatever feels good. Knees soft. We'll bring it all the way up. Let's make it now. And exhaling hands at heart center. Beautiful. Find that breath. We're going to turn towards the opposite side of the room, taking that nice, big, giant step. Okay, and go ahead and root that back foot, peeking all the way through the heel towards the wall. If you don't have a wall, that's just fine. Just imagine that straight line towards the end of the mat. And then walking, moving that front foot forward. It's almost the length of your hands. Okay, so we're going to allow the back hip to come forward, but we're all of our waist here are towards that window. Beautiful. All right, go ahead and let that knee guide over that second and third toe. We keep that back leg grounded. So you'll feel a difference. So just to experiment, feel the difference when you go like this, right? Versus rounding down to that back foot, sinking the waist in the hips, and then maybe taking the toe out. Do you feel the difference in that? So we're really opening up through those hips. Go ahead and guide those arms out. Palms facing up. Find the breath. Nice big inhale, reaching that front arm up. You let it curling back, holding against the back of the neck. Rooting against that back. Inhale, opening it up, opening up the legs, straightening the leg, reaching through the arms. Nice. And then we're going to soften this knee just a little bit. Go ahead and take the hand on the hip, so that back hand, so opposite. So the, the hand is against the wall, take it on the hip, beautiful. 
and we're going to allow this arm to come forward and either below the knee or above the knee or to a block. Sort of curl up the waist, so we're opening up the waist. Beautiful. Bring, so it should be your right hand, bring it forward in front of you. Like you're trying to reach the person in front of you. Perfect. No, right in front of you. Perfect. Now, sorry, that's your front, your other front, right? Bring the shoulder back in the socket. Just feel that difference. Bring the shoulder in the socket. So just your shoulder blade. See the, the um, shoulder is right here. So this. In and out. In and out. Bring it in. Leave it in. The arm straight. So we're not working with the elbow, just the shoulder. Great. Leave it in the socket and then just float it up. Beautiful. Bring down to that back foot and then reach the arm overhead. Turn the head down. Push the toe, really reaching, pressing into the wall, reaching the arm. Feel all that stretch, stretch in the face of the body. Great. And then releasing the hand, bending the knee, moving back into warrior two. Thumbs up or down. Find your breath. Find your dristy. Notice where you're holding on to any tension. And to soften anything that needs to be softened. Okay, and then windmill that arm all the way around. Great, bring that back toe in, and the knee down, and then just straighten that front leg. So feel from the pinky, curling back all the way through that hip. Relax the head, relax the neck. and checking in, maybe a down dog, maybe a child's pose, or maybe a cat. <laughs> Let's bring our legs all the way in front of us, wherever we're at, facing towards the front of the room. We'll bend our knees and then just holding on to our knees, just sort of back. Relax the shoulders down. Fingertips up. Get back one more inch. Feel the breath like you have that string tied to your chest. One more inch. One more inch until you're shaking like I am and you're ready to come all the way down towards your mat. Just hug your knees into your chest. And your head into your knees. And just give yourself a little rock back and forth. the hands on the knees just pressing the knees into the body and then working down the thighs so pressing into the upper thighs pressing into the ankles pressing all the way down and releasing our legs we're going to end today with a restorative twist inversion. So grab any blankets or bolsters that you may need. And 
So we'll shift our hips over to the right. Allow that left leg to be long and then taking the right knee, just guide it all the way over to where either, it may be that it comes all the way over and that feels good, but it may be that it feels better to have that knee resting on the bolster. So we have the left leg long on the mat, bring the right leg up 90 degrees and then we guide it over. Nice, and then that's where your leg can rest on a bolster or a blanket if that feels good. Allow both shoulders to rest comfortably on the mat. So use that support as you need it. And then relax the arms. Relax the feet. relax the hip so allow it to be completely supported against the bolster or the floor and with each inhale and exhale just imagine that it's nourishing each organ to the side, shift your hips to the left, extend that right leg, take the left leg up and then allow it to guide over, either resting on the mat or any prop, both shoulders are completely supported. And find stillness in the body. towards center, adjusting the hips. And 
and hugging those knees in towards the chest. And pressing your feet into the ground. You can either take a bolster underneath or a block, or you could just leave it just like this. Just have the hips supported even on a blanket. Let the knees rest in on each other so you're really relieving any pressure. So maybe there's a bolster or a block or a blanket underneath the hips. Feet are wide and knees are together. And then let the hips just release down. You may choose to stay right here or take one leg up and then the other leg up. Relaxing the upper body, just feeling all the nourishment of the blood, the nutrients coming down from the ankles, through the knees, to the hips. long as you'd like. And if you're ready, gently take one leg down, the other leg down. Pause. And then lift the hips and gently remove the prop. Adjusting yourself for relaxation. And you can stay in an inverted position for a few more minutes if you'd like and join us whenever you're ready. And if you're in Shavasana, gently press the head into the mat, move the shoulders down away from the ears, just let the hands rest to the side. Adjusting yourself to where you're completely and totally comfortable. And then resisting any temptation to move. We'll come around, no adjustments today because it's COVID. But I'll give you guys nice and snugly if you'd like the blanket. Resting in Shavasana, if your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to the breath. You could simply count for four and exhale for four.
gently roll over onto the side into the fetal position knees into the chest head resting on the hand is taking a moment to feel gratitude for taking time out for your practice and gratitude for all that we have in life Placing the hand down, just gently raise all the way up into any comfortable seated position. Eyes closed, hands resting on our knees. And for our Living Our Yoga today, a quote by Doug Keller, Yoga Therapeutics. The physical goal of yoga is to bring balance into the body through self-awareness, conscious integration through intentional movement. Namaste, Tohi, peace. And so sorry I went over. Oh, <laughs>